Yes, today we're doing a Mist World video on the Autumn event. So we're going to go ahead and target the Envoy. We're currently in White Sands, but the Envoy is in all cities, including the Newbie Village. We're going to go ahead and hit Enter on this. So a little, a little poorly worded there, but they're telling you before you enter the map, you're going to want to sell your herbs, your fish, and your ore. Unfortunately, there is way, uh, there are ways to die in here, and if you die, you will drop those. Exchange event rewards. These are the event rewards. We're going to look at those, but not quite yet. And this is the event yeah. introduction. So it's running from 29th of September until the 4th of October. So as this says, you run around the map collecting crabs. Uh, they're called hairy crabs. I'm not 100% sure what kind of crab that's supposed to be, but you run around the event map looking for hairy crabs, you collect them, and then those act as your currency for the rewards. Kind of like the eggs from the Easter event. So this is another one, it's a little poorly worded. Um, what this is saying is, again, you want to sell your herbs, your fish, and your ore before going into the map. You can be killed, but it, if somebody attacks, they lose morality. But there is a time bomb item that you can use to blow up players within a 25 yard radius. Uh, including yourself if you're not fast enough to get out of range. And that, that does act as the death on this map. Now, you do not lose XP or anything of that nature when you're on this map, so that is definitely a nice feature. You have unlimited map respawns, so you don't have to use resurrection crystals. And you can enter the map unlimited number of times. So, that that's, you know, plenty, plenty chance to get all the crabs you need. I'm gonna go ahead and return. Let's go ahead and check out this list of rewards. So I'm just gonna break it down for this first one. You spend 25, uh, 24 crabs to buy this item once. It's 80,000 Arnibia. You are able to buy it twice. I've currently bought it zero of two times. So it would cost me 48 crabs to buy both, but I would get 160,000 Arnibia out of the deal. So this four sets of gem fragments is a very interesting one. It gives you one shard of every uh, gem times four. So you get enough shards to make each gem level one. Kind of cool, and you can buy it three times. Hundred large rock potion, nothing too special there. It's a step down from the supreme or uh, super potions that we were able to buy in the last event, but that's okay. A hundred large blue potion. Twenty. Yeah, twenty pet rice roll. Now this is a cool one. You get twenty pliers, but the type of plier depends on your level. So if you're level sixty-nine and below, you get the level or the the standard basic pliers. If you're level six. If you're level 70 and above, right now the cap doesn't go to 80. So if you're level 70 and above, you get the secondary pliers. Nice, nice little touch. Same thing here, you get toolboxes. Those toolboxes are dependent on what level. You get two large skill, po um, skill pills. 
Exchange two memory butterflies. 18 dairy crabs are required. Already exchanged zero slash three times today. Two memory butterflies. Exchange one with crystal. 15 dairy crabs are required. Already exchanged zero slash four times today. Okay, quick note on this one. Uh, unless they've fixed it since this video, you can only buy three of the four resurrection crystals, unfortunately. So, uh, the grand total that it would take to buy everything in the menu... The grand total that it takes to buy everything in the menu is 487 crabs, except if they haven't fixed this, uh, then it's only... what, let's see... 15 hairy crabs, so it's only 472. Yeah, 472 will let you buy everything in the menu if they haven't fixed the, the resurrection crystal issue. For Hearthstone. Now, this is pretty cool. Uh, it's 20 of this Ismathis wine and 20 of a five nut moon cake i'll show you what all these items are in just a minute but those are specific to this event as far as i'm aware you cannot get them anywhere else and we're going to go ahead and leave the menu i've got the items in my inventory so i can show you for those unaware this is a resurrection crystal Okay. For those unaware, this is a memory butterfly. Okay. Small plier. I'm under level 70, so I get the, the lower level plier. Um, that plier is basically like having a repair from okay. the blacksmith on hand. So if you're in the middle of a dungeon or something and your gear starts to break, you can just hit the plier and bam, repair it. Small large, red potion. One prescripted. large red potion, again, for those unaware. Pretty standard stuff. Hearthstone, for those unaware. That rice roll, again, if you're not, if you're not aware, 30% amiability. Now, this is the Ismethus wine. This is the one from the event here that, as far as I'm aware, you cannot get elsewhere. Uh, so it's it's basically like the wine that you can get from the weddings, the uh, the lower level wine you can get from the weddings. It gives you a two percent increase to your all damage that you deal. It is stackable, but it does have a twelve second cooldown, which the wedding wines do not. Five nut mooncake. So again, just like the wedding item, this reduces all damage that you take by 2%. Um, again, it is stackable, but this has a 12 second cooldown where the wedding wines and stuff do not. This is a large blue potion for those unaware. This is the small toolbox because I'm under level 70. So anything you're wearing is repaired if you use this, which is really cool, because you're wearing 10 gear pieces, one weapon, one contribution medal, one, you know, one star attack medal, etc, etc, and it repairs all of it to brand new. Skill proficiency pill large. If you're having trouble leveling up a skill for whatever reason, this will give you 3,000 points to its progress. And that's all the rewards. Uh, something to note, all of these rewards are restricted, so you cannot sell these, you cannot trade these, etc, etc. It, it's all locked to your character. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter on the envoy again. I'm going to go ahead and enter the map now. That boom crackle sound, that is the sound of an ice bomb going off. If you hear that, that right there, that's the ice bomb. 
if you hear the snip snip or click click or whatever we've got it off to our left and off to our right those are the crabs um, if you target by enemy west yeah so that's the crab right there I personally turn on auto navigation so that once I lock on to something it starts putting a beacon on them the button is the right bracket it is left of your uh, backslash key and I personally like to be in the all mode because the enemies mode does show you the crabs but the NPC mode is how you see the moon cakes and different items that you can get in the event and so I use all even though it's a little frustrating you keep targeting people but it, it does make things a lot easier so I see a moon cake over here Grab that. Uh, the mooncake move increases your movement speed by 20% for 20 seconds, and they do stack. Alright, there's a fishing net here. Yep. I'm gonna go ahead and walk over to it. So as it said, using a fishing net reduces the movement speed by crabs near you for 5 seconds. And it only lasts 10 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and hit control on it. Oh. Got that over here I don't know if you're hearing it but each time you pick up a mooncake it randomly gives a filling so there's rose there's lemon there's melon there's uh, some kind of bean paste there's meat floss and so on and so forth no actual difference and we're about to blow up Yep. So I'm going to go ahead and do a map respawn. Ah, oh, there's a time bomb. Grab that. So, again, it has a timer, 10 minute timer. I'm not going to make it. Yep. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and respawn back to the city now. So the, item, so the items in there are the fishing net that you got to see, the crabs that are walking around that you have to capture and they act as your currency. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and... There we go. Hairy crabs, 10 locked. That hairy crab. These are your currency. You spend these for the rewards. Um, the time bomb, like I showed you, it it's just an item. You pick it up. You can decide where to drop it. You got 10 minutes before you can, or before it just disappears. And when it explodes, it blows everybody in 25 yards. Just boom, automatic death. Um, Technically speaking, there are skills where you can avoid getting killed by it, but it, it does blow everybody up, and I mean everybody. If there's an NP or uh, if there's a pet that somebody dropped from the gang, like if somebody dropped a fire dog in there and you used a time bomb, the fire dog would explode. If there's any hairy crabs within range, they die and leave behind a corpse. Like it, it kills literally everything. Um, as you heard, people were using the fusion beasts to run around. Gives you a speed bonus, lets you catch crabs easier. I, I generally start out with a fusion beast and go around and 
grab a couple cakes to increase my speed before leaving my fusion beast form so I'm not wasting the fusion points but it is definitely possible to do without a fusion beast as I just showed um, the better your turquoise and your boots obviously the more speed you're gonna have the easier time you're gonna have some of those crabs really can get fast and they do make it really tough to catch them so uh, the ice bomb, as I said, you heard it. You didn't get to actually see the item, unfortunately. When you hit enter to pick up the item, it automatically uses the ice bombs. It's not something that you can put in your inventory and decide when to use, like the fishing net and the time bombs. But that's the event. I hope you liked the video. I hope this... An oh, I do apologize. There is a medal that you can get. It's the five nut metal or something like that um, and that metal is a small bonus I, I think somebody said it's a two 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 so two attack or two physical attack two magical attack two physical defense defense two magical defense but from what I've heard if you get all three event medals you can combine them and you make uh, a festival medal of or something like that and it's supposed to be a much stronger metal after you've collected all three and combined them into the one but you get that metal by purchasing rewards in the uh, rewards menu it's a randomized chance every time you make a purchase you have a chance to get the metal so there's no guarantee of getting it it's not like if you buy everything then you automatically get it now it, it's a random chance every time you make a purchase so I hope this video was helpful and I'll see you in the next one thanks for watching guys